Okay. Ooh. All right, guys. Today's um, focus, just gonna keep it simple. We're gonna work on uh, making our lunge better. Very Five good. minutes of lunging practice for today. Um, I'm never like a one trick kind of guy, so remember our proper mechanics. What are the three, four things we always keep in our focus? We've got uh, step back when we parry, right? We've got lead with the edge. We've got um, play by sense of touch, right? Play by feel. And we've got uh, lunge, parry, recover, right? So we're going to be working on making sure we get that lunge parry. And this is um, this can be a difficult mechanic because of most of us have not been practicing it this way. Most of the time when you lunge, right, you begin recovering and begin parrying at the same time. I know I'll catch myself still doing this thing. But remember, if we do that, then I'm connecting my fastest part, my hand, which I can move around quite fast, to the slowest part, my torso, as I recover they start to go at the same speed, right? If I lunge and then immediately snap into my parry, bam, and then recover, I am saving myself a lot of time and getting to my, uh, closing my door before I begin my recovery instead of linking those two things together and slowing down. So again, simple drill day. We're just gonna practice some lunging. We'll try different targets, mentally think about it. Um, and, uh, that's just, yeah, easy day. We'll do it for that, right? Anyways, I got that lunge drill going on that everyone's been trying, so now we'll get our lunges in today. All right. You're on guard. Let me make sure I got it. We'll add some other changes up to your lunge. Make sure you're conscious of other aspects you can have in the lunge. I'm going to do some forward, some of the side, so we get more of all those angles. So, again, from our good on guard, slow and easy, we begin with the extension, right? And remember, extension is important because a lot of people still struggle to get the extension right. There's a rocket at the end, tip my sword. Where it aligns, my sword goes. Sometimes people will do this extra chop or they'll add extra movement to it. You don't want to add anything to it, right? The more I add, the more you'll see. The more I just straight extend, right? Angle my blade where I want it to go, well, bam, extend. Is a very slight motion that is very difficult for your opponent to see. If you add motion to it, if you add stuff, it becomes much more obvious to see, right? So remember that focus when you're building your lunge. And again, that's just from a low guard. From a high guard, the same concept applies. I've seen a lot of people in their high guard, they'll do like this when they extend. They have this extra movement. You don't need this extra movement, right? Rock it on the tip. Tip extends, my arm gets drug into it. Tip extends, my arm gets drug into it. Tip extends, right? Wherever the tip's going. Try not to get that extra movement. Okay. Nice and slow. On guard. Extend. Boom. At max extension, my front leg comes up. My back leg jettisons me forward. Lunge. Check your lunge. My knee should be over my ankle. My back leg should be planted and straight. There are other options here. This is a foundational move. I can definitely show you why and how people will change. But right now, I want you to build this muscle set so you have a foundational move to build from. Got it? Fully extended, off arm came with me just in case. I parry, boom, I recover. Boom, on guard. That was slow. We're gonna do one more slow from the side and then we'll do some fast. On guard. Get that good footwork, find yourself. Boom. Ah. Extend. Lunge. Parry. And you can always change your parry. Recover. Okay, we've gone through our core mechanics at a reasonable pace. Now we're going to bleed it all together, going slow still. And then we'll do some nice and fast. On guard. Extend. Lunge. Parry. Recover. On guard, extend, lunge, parry, recover. We've done it as sets. Now we're gonna bleed it all together. On guard, lunge, extended first. Anyway, always extend first. Recover, got the parry first. Always parry first. So we've gone from that four step lunge, extend, lunge, parry, recover, to a two step lunge, extend, lunge, 
carry or recover, right? We slowly bleed it together. Lunge. Feel free to check yourself. Please move. Good, right? Recover. Got the idea? Now we've done it. Two step, extend lunge, carry recover. Now we're going to do it. Lunge, recover. Lunge, recover. On guard. Lunge, recover. Got it? From the side. On guard. Lunge, recover. Now, so we're going to do three more. That exact same way. Change your parries, get your recovery. No work on recovering forward. But you got to chase them down. This is not a... Remember, everything we work on is a concept, not a move. Don't feel restricted by what you learn through your uh, martial training, right? Feel expanded. This is a way to better uh, platform your moves. You'll have to... One. Sad baby. Sorry. All right, on guard. Two nice and swift. Lunge, recover. Lunge, recover. From the side. Lunge, recover. Lunge, recover. Notice I try to get to that parry immediately after hitting my full extension. Okay. Right? That's the idea. Okay, we've lunged straight, recovered back. Now we're going to recover forward. So in a nice slow motion, I extend, I lunge. I'm still going to cover my uh, potential could get hit zone, right? Parry. But instead of recovering back, right, I'm going to recover forward. So I'm ready to now re-engage if I have to. So one more time from the side, nice and slow. Lunge, recover to a forward guard, right? I mean, sorry, to a forward stance. I'm chasing my opponent this time. From the front, lunge, recover. Now I'm closer. Lunge, recover. Now I'm closer. Sometimes we have to go forward. Sometimes we have to go backward. Uh, circumstance will dictate. Context. Context will dictate. All right, let's do some. On guard. Lunge. Recover forward. Now I have to get more room. Lunge. Recover forward. Okay. Now we're going to try lunging at different parts. Actually, let's do two this way. For fun. For fun. On guard. Lunge. Recover. Lunge. Recover. Those were all moving forward, right? Now we're going to make our um, uh, lunges at different areas and thinking about where we will be open. Should we lunge there? and if our opponent blocked, right? So if our opponent got us in a parry, where would their sword be? Where would I be open for the counter, right? And this is where that play-by-feel aspect is really gonna come into play. If my opponent parried me and I feel their steal, and then I don't feel their steal, right? So I, for example, they attack me and I parry them into a seven, right? And I've got them in this nice lockout low. If I leave their steel, if they don't feel me anymore, where did I have to go, right? There's only one easy opening, coming back around the top. Knowing this ahead of time, you will get, you can put your blade in line with your only clear opening, fast opening, right? Obviously I could come around and do something crazy, but that takes forever. You'll have enough time to see it, got it? So the most swift uh, counter they have is there. conceptually. Got it? So we're going to be thinking about that as we launch. If we are open, how do I need to parry? On guard. So my first lunge is going to be at the face because I love that shot. Ready? So we lunge at their face. Boom. Now if I get this far, parry me. And let's assume they're in a five. They're in a high parry, right? If they're in a high parry, how can they return uh, a shot? So I have to think about guarding against that line, returning to a five myself, possibly coming to a three, depending on how they counter, right? So there, parry, recover. Now I'm going to lunge at their leg. Lunge, 
if they've parried me, right? And now I'm going this way. Where is their likely counter? Now, if they come off, I know they're coming high. If they stay low, I know I have to go low. So pick one to practice. Staying low. Got it? On guard. Again at the leg. Lunge. Now they've went high. Recover. Get to that parry before they get there. On guard. Center mat. They've parried you, right? Where are you open? Recover. Oh, see, I recovered and parried. Old habit, hard to break. One more time, let's get that parry right. Lunge, parry, recover. Guarding against that center line this time. Again, lunge, right? Now I want to guard that same line. Oh yeah, if your form gets a little bad, that's why we do this. If they recover, I can also circle six, circle three, coming around to guard them out, right? Don't feel restricted in your options. Let's do a quick 10 together because we've done a lot so far, and we'll be done. All right. Think about a place to strike. I'll call out where I'm going to go just so I uh, have a good theme about what I'm trying to land. On guard. I'm going to hit him in the front hip. Lunge. Boom. Recover. Guarding. Head. Boom. Recover. Guarding. That's two. Leg. Recover. Three. Arm. Recover. Four. Um, shoulder, recover, five, leg, recover, six, uh, where else, mm, center mass, boom, recover, seven, I didn't like that very, I'm going to do it again, center mass, boom, recover, eight, head, boom, recover, nine, arm again, boom, Recover. Ten. Try different things. Think about where they're going to go. Think about where you will have to be to get there. Practice this. And remember those uh, aspects. You're not going to get them all right. That's why you practice. Don't worry about it. Remember when you're doing that, you find that. Okay, extend lunge. There we go. I'm looking for where I'm going to hit. Extend lunge. Extend lunge. My sword carries me into it. I angle where I want to go. I fly into it. I carry. I recover. I fly into it, I bury, I recover. I fly into it, I bury, I recover. Think about getting that mechanic because it'll help you with all your fighting. Right? Um, you're never going to have a perfect lunge. You will keep working on this lunge. Enough. So always make sure you give a couple, asp uh, couple minutes of your day to working on that lunge a little more. Alright everyone, hope you enjoyed that. If you've got Direction for the next next video. Give me something to work with.